Welcome to the Buy and King Stock Market Q&A live stream. I answer questions asked only by members of my private Discord group. So if you want to ask me a question, be sure to join my Discord group. The link to that is in the description below. Right now, I'm going to look into FUV and I'm going to explain to you guys further why I think this stock can go to potentially $166 a share over the next couple of years um, and why it might not do that. So Arkimoto, if you guys don't know, this is an electric vehicle manufacturer. They, they specialize in making three wheel vehicles for uh, the fun utility vehicle. That's what FUV stands for. Um, so the name um, pretty much means it's a fun vehicle. It's also a utility vehicle. So you guys can see right here, they've got their um, uh, rapid responder, which is used for uh, emergency vehicles that can quickly maneuver, get around. You can fit three of these cars in one parking space. So they're very nimble. And uh, I believe they go up to 75 miles an hour, uh, 100 mile range, something like that. And then they also have their deliberator, which uh, I don't think they're showing video of right here, but I'll go over here. So this is pretty much for last mile delivery. And if you guys don't know what that means, that's pretty much like, yeah, you're not going to pack stuff from a warehouse in here and then send it across towns, but you do load up like the giant UPS truck and then smaller parcels can be fit into this deliverator and be taken to neighborhoods in, in a rapid amount of time. Or like you guys just saw, pizza delivery can be used for this as well. Or just like uh, for municipal purposes. Like um, I know in, in a city environment, when you're working for the city government and you gotta run quick errands for if you're working for um, uh, O&M department, the street crews, parks and recreation department, and you just need to run some equipment back and forth super quick and you don't need to get into a big bulky truck to do that. Like I said, guys, you can fit three of these Arkimotos in one parking space. Um, so, uh, yeah, they're super nimble and uh, they're electric as well. But that's not why I think the stock can really blow up. The reason why is you guys can see here, Arkimoto has a market cap of $200 million. Um, and I think this is a little cheap. It's not even to the $1 billion mark <laughs> like Nikola is trading at. If you guys want to compare this to a, uh, let me see here, let me go NKLA. I get a lot of people that tell me it's absurd that I think Arkimoto can blow up so much, but here's the difference between them and Nikola. You guys see Nikola has a $15 billion valuation. And as of currently, Nikola has not sold any vehicles whatsoever. You guys see that $400,000 in revenue? Apparently, that was work done for the CEO for like solar on his properties or something like that. And then the CEO resigned, collected a paycheck or something like that, and then came back. There's a whole lot of shady stuff going on with Nikola. I don't delve too deep into them. But guys, you're putting a $15 billion market cap on a company that's producing no sales right now. Just believe that it's the future where you have a company like Arkimoto with only a $200 million market cap. And guess what? It's small, but they are producing revenues. They almost produced revenues of $1 million in Q1 of 2020, um, or I believe that's Q4 uh, 2019. But yeah, you guys can see in 2020, even through coronavirus, they're still making sales. Of course, they're unprofitable right now, but they're growing. They barely started production and actual deliveries in late 2019, which is why sales have barely started in 2019. But they're making a million dollars more than, uh, than Nikola because Nikola is not making any, any sales right now. And so the main thing that caught my attention was after the Q2 earnings results for Arkimoto just a couple of days ago, the Arkimoto YouTube channel uploaded a video of the CEO speaking with Sandy Monroe. If you guys don't know who Sandy Monroe is, he's a legendary expert in the, uh, in the auto industry. He pretty much takes other people's projects and figures out how to make their products more affordable and more easy to assemble. And Arkimoto has had a partnership with Sandy Monroe for a few months now. And Sandy Monroe pretty much says in this video, I don't want to play this video. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for it or not. But what he says is he thinks that Arkimoto's future is brilliant. And he believes that three wheel vehicles will be popular, more popular than almost anything. Now, I know that's hard to believe in the USA, but in Europe and in those more compact countries uh, and continents, 
where you like really need to be nimble and you can't be driving these big trucks. He believes that um, the future can be 50% electric in those countries and continents and ICE vehicles will only make up like 20 something percent of, uh, of the vehicles being driven there. But yeah, he thinks that three wheel vehicles like Arkhamotos can be a big, big thing. Mark Frommeyer, which is the CEO of Arkhamoto, also asked Sandy, how, what's your confidence that, um, that Arkhamoto can hit their target of producing 50,000 units a year by 2022 in, in 24 months, pretty much. And Sandy Monroe said he's very confident that they can do that. And he said that he doesn't think they'll have any problem doing that. Now, Sandy Monroe is an expert in cutting in, um, pretty much increasing efficiency in the, um, in, in manufacturing something. So he understands that Arkhamoto can make this car more affordable and also make it easier to manufacture. Right now they're only making three units a day. Uh, and so for them to hit that 50,000 a year mark means that they'll have to be making 100 plus vehicles a day. So that's going to be a huge ramp up. Who knows if they can hit that in two years. I think that's pretty dang optimistic. But if Sandy Monroe was saying that of all people, then I think that carries some weight. So, why do I think that Arkhamoto can potentially hit $166 a share when it's only trading at under $7 a share right now? And I know that seems super parabolic and super unlikely that that will ever happen, but here's the math behind it. So, if Sandy Monroe thinks that Arkhamoto can produce 50,000 vehicles in 2020, I mean, in 2022, um, and from there on out, okay, so FUV, let me go to pre-order now. So 50,000 units times the price of an FUV, which is 19,900 or $20,000. So I'm just being conservative. If the price of the FUV comes down a little bit, I'm going to use 19,000 as a number. Just because I like to be more conservative when I'm doing numbers and not get too hyped up. So if we were to do... $50,000 in sales times $19,000 a unit, I mean 50,000 units times $19,000 per unit, we get a total of nearly $1 billion in sales in one year. So if they can do this, and if we conservatively multiply this revenue by a price to sales ratio of a 5x, which is pretty conservative, especially for a growth company. Tesla right now is trading at like a 14 times price to sales ratio. Apple's at like a 10. So a five times is very conservative for a growth company. So if we were to take this $1 billion in sales and multiply it times five, we get a market cap of nearly $5 billion for Arkhamoto. Now we have the market cap of 5 billion and currently Arkhamoto's market cap is only 200 million guys this is less than one quarter of a billion dollars and this is a company that can potentially be be valued at five billion dollars so what does this mean so we've got to now take the shares outstanding for Arkhamoto which means how many shares they have out there again a, a stock guys is a a company is like a pie and each stock is a slice of that pie so each slice that you have is is a little slice of ownership that you have in that pie. So we want to see how many slices this pie has. So shares outstanding, 31.5 million. So what we've got to do now is we divide this market cap by 31 million. So 31.51 uh, million. So that's uh, 31,000, one, two, three. Okay, and now we get a price of $150 a share. So um, again, I was round, rounding up when I did the $166 a share, but still we get a price to share of $150 a share right there for FUV. And guys, that's just me going off of what Sandy Monroe believes that this company can be producing in units per year and the, the current um, sales or the price per unit right now, which is $19,000 for an FUV. So this is no joke, like this is the real deal. Again, it's forward looking. These aren't real numbers right now, but um, this is 
this is very real that Arkimoto could be trading at $150 a share. Now, of course, dilution could play a huge role in this and not allow Arkimoto to go that high. What dilution means is the company itself owns its own private shares that they can eventually say like, okay, we're going to, we're going to put more shares up for sale. Uh, but we want to sell them for $15 a share. So here's 1 million more shares for $15 a share. And that's the way for the company to, to raise more money. But at the same time, if you're a current shareholder of FUV, your position gets diluted in the company because there becomes more shares out there. And so all of a sudden the shares that you do own become less valuable. So the stock price, um, pretty much levels out, flattens out. It doesn't, um, increase as fast. So if you were to think if a $1 billion company had two shares outstanding, so each share would be worth 500 million, right? But then the company says, um, okay, we're going to put four more shares or, um, two more shares up for sale. So now there's four shares outstanding. The company's market cap is still $1 billion, but now all of a sudden each share is worth, um, 250 million. So the current shareholders got diluted, uh, but now there's more shares outstanding. The company raised money and it ends up hurting current shareholders. So, um, but yeah, I'm in Arkimoto for the long term, and there are some downsides to dilution, but I'm not letting that get me down too, too much. Uh, so it might not hit $150 a share. It could be a lot lower than that. We don't know what's going to really happen here. The great thing is though, here's one of the things that I love most about Arkimoto is their incredible, incredible balance sheets. So I took some notes on them the other day and let me just read what, uh, what stood out to me. Right. So cash and cash equivalents here. This number is currently out of date, but I'll read to you guys what I have on my iPad. Cash and cash equivalents sit at 7 million or $7.7 .7 million, which is up 33% year over year. Total current assets, 14 million total assets 19 million current debt zero zip they paid all of their debt i love this company because they take great care of their balance sheet which takes care of the investor in the long run so to total current liabilities is only around three million dollars when their total assets are 19 million and uh or, i'm sorry total liabilities come in at 4.7 million so that gives them an asset to debt ratio of a 4x a debt to equity ratio of a 0 0.3 anything below anything between a 1 to a 1.5 is a great debt to equity ratio when you have below a 1 at just a 0.3 guys that's that's pretty phenomenal and their current ratio which is their current assets divided by their current debt stands at a 4.9x nearly 5x that's just phenomenal so the asset to debt ratio, I say um, anything above a one is pretty good. Anything above a two is, is great and you can sleep easy at night. Anything above a three is phenomenal. This company has a four times asset to debt ratio. That's, that's just incredible. And they already took advantage of selling extra shares to raise capital. So I don't know how much more of that they're going to do in the future. Of course, it's a company that needs to be raising money right now as they're growing. But uh, we'll see how much more dilution is, is to come. So that's why I believe that FUV can, can go up substantially in the future. Thank you for watching. Remember, I only answer questions asked by my Discord members. So if you want to ask me a question that gets answered in this video, be sure to join my private Discord group. The link to that is in the video description.